Guys, how are you doing? Um, bit of a strange one. I've just received a delivery, which I'm super excited about. I'm filming this little intro on a completely different day. I just wanted to make sure that I uh, unboxed it um, just before we start today's video, because I have been so excited to receive this stuff. In the last kind of like art studio reno update, I said that I'd order some, ordered some stuff and it's arrived. So I've got a whole roll of canvas. This is like, it is actually primed because I wanted to try that out. I've never tried that before. I've got six meters of canvas that I'm ready to take uh, in today's video to the studio and start stretching some canvases so I can have all my paintings ready to get started on. I'm gonna hit you with a little recommendation. So I did a little bit of research and I was looking for canvas and where the best places were to buy it from. I checked out Amazon and obviously Amazon has loads of different distributors on there, but it was so expensive on there. Like even the smallest bit seemed to like cost like way over for the same amount that I got, way over like 70, 80 pounds. I found this website, it's called artsaver.com and the roll cost me 49 pounds and that was primed. I'm sure that doesn't mean a lot to some of you that aren't used to kind of like art and creating art and stuff, but primed canvas for six meters of it for under 50 pound is pretty darn good. So I bought some gesso, just to, just in case I need to prime them with an extra layer. I bought some brushes so I can apply the gesso to the canvases. This is cool. So at the moment I'm using this huge just bucket or grabbing like glasses and stuff and ruining them from when I'm painting. But this is a collapsible, little kind of like lantern shape pot which I can put my paintbrushes in and keep all my kind of like paint thin and stuff in there. How handy is that? And what else have you got? I've got some scissors to cut the canvas with, some super sharp scissors and then I've also got, it's a piece of mirrored acrylic so it's not glass but I've ordered this because Look, I can peel that off, I won't peel it off now. But um, I'm, I'm gonna start using this as my like painting palette because throw away like temporary kind of like rip off page palettes when you're mixing all your paint and stuff. It's not exactly great for the environment and it's also very wasteful. But I saw a lot of people, uh, as an artist that I follow, were using like pieces of glass essentially to put all their paints on and mix them all. And I thought that was such a sick idea. So I've ordered myself a little piece of acrylic um, and it is mirrored. And it's just gonna be easy for me to like scrape off all the remnants of what I've been using. So really happy with this stuff that's arrived. I just wanted to um, film that little bit so I'm super pumped for it to come. And uh, yeah, let's go over to the house and start digging through my dad's garage to try and find all my old canvases and start stretching some. Sick, see you there. Welcome to the shed. The rather messy shed full of everything that my dad owns and has just dumped in here from all of his years of working on construction sites and stuff. I've got a chainsaw over there. Pretty much anything that you can imagine is in here. <laughs> Which is really helpful because if I need to do stuff, like if I want to work with wood or whatever, why is my face? There we go. If I want to work with wood or whatever, I've got like jigsaws, uh, skill saws at the back, which I'm going to be using on this channel actually to do like some furniture stuff that I'm planning with my dad. So insider's info, we're going to be kind of recycling pallet wood and creating furniture from it. I'm working with my dad on the idea and I think we're going to be doing that real soon. I've got all these old blank canvases, <clears throat> canvas frames I should call it, that I made whilst I was at Kingston Uni. They are sturdy solid wood frames and I've got my staple gun and I've also got some staples. Now I just need to carry it all 
That's it, studio. Um, I need to clear some floor, floor space. Why can't I get in there? It's bad. Right, three nails, that will do it. I need some free floor space. So I can put some of these paintings up on the wall and maybe the skateboards and stuff. I'm not using them. such a good job painting up the walls and now you're just bashing nails in them. It is a working studio. I literally, I, like I, the way thing, I imagine things happening in here is that within like a couple of months the walls won't be white anymore. They'd either be covered in paintings or covered in paint. First things first, I've got to brush down the frames. Simply because they've been in that garage which you saw for like six years. So I have three of the exact same shape, and the sh same shape and size, sorry. So I can do a cool triptych. I have no idea what I'm going to paint yet. I still obviously need to finish this one behind me. But. Cleaned up. Because I come from a construction background, I was fairly handy at putting stuff together like canvases when I was at uni. And it wasn't just Poppy who used to ask me to make their canvases for them. It was a lot of my other friends as well. So whenever I'd go in and make myself one, I'd always end up making some of my friends' canvases as well. Which isn't a bad thing. I was quite good at it, so I could do them quite quickly. But the reason why I think I mentioned it to you is that how freaking epic that I have all this. And they're made out of great materials, it's lasted this long, and they'll last for years more. Just because, I don't know, I kind of did a good job. <laughs> that is so good. So for some of you who don't know what I'm talking about, primed, basically, you start with raw canvas, which is like the back, like this. Can you see that? It's like all speckled, it's just raw material, raw canvas. And when you prime it normally, you paint something like a gesso on it. But this has already come pre-primed. So it's kind of ready, once I stretch it, just to hit it with some paint. I'm going to brush the floor quickly. I don't want to put this down on the floor and get it dirty straight away. So let's do that. Clean workspace is a happy workspace. I need to get the broom. Fell over though, am I right? Just leave it there. 
I am so freaking happy about this situation right now. Look how sweet this is. She's even giving it to me in her best little like, ceramic milk jug. More distractions. Exactly what I needed. I need to dist I'm, distract I'm a distraction to myself. Let alone having other distractions. Okay. So, what I normally do is make sure that we've got all the sides even and then start from one end. I'll do it like this. Bang! And then come round this side. So basically, we're always working at the opposite sides. So then you give it a little pull. There we go. Normally if I had my canvas tool, which I stupidly left at home, that's what I'd be using to kind of like grip the canvas and pull it straight, but I didn't bring it because I forgot everything today. Get over it, Sean. The acoustics in here are just sublime. Maybe I could start thinking about getting like a proper work surface table in here so I can do stuff like this, but also maybe like drawings on the table. I did actually see the sickest easel recently in a local um, art shop. And I know that I have an easel there, but I'd love to work on like multiple paintings at the same time. I get bored very, very easily and very, very quickly when I do stuff like, well, a lot of stuff actually. I don't know what it is, I think I just have a terrible attention span. And um, so I do tend to like working on multiple things at the same time. Anyway, long story short, I saw this beautiful easel in the bar shop and it's on track, it's on like a wheel, but unlike this one, you can make it into a table. I think I might have to just I think I might just have to go for it, you know, treat myself, because it is, I've never seen anything like it, it's like a proper, legitimate, professional easel. Um, ever since I saw it, I saw it about a month ago, I just sort of non-stop thinking about it, and I'm kind of justifying in my mind whether to get it or not, because it ain't cheap. Can you see that I'm only like slightly Pulling it as I'm working round. Right, where to now? Let me go down this one. Oh. One down. Only a few more to go. But even without the stretching tool, that is very tight. I'm happy with that. So one down. One, two, three. the last staple in the second canvas. I think I kind of forgot how long it would actually take to make uh, or stretch these. Two full brand new canvases, all stretched, feeling bouncy. That's a good sound. Um, so yeah, happy with that. Like I was saying, I completely forgot how long it was going to kind of take to stretch them up. So it's actually half five now. I did a lot of messing around this morning trying to get set up. And still didn't have everything I needed but um happy with what we're doing we're still very much in the kind of like setting up stage and um, so priming canvases getting them all stretched up uh, and what I've realized now that I spent a little bit of time in here just thinking about the space and obviously prepping certain stuff I definitely need some kind of table or trolley um, so I'm going to look for one of them. I might have a little look on like Amazon or something. But what I mean by trolley is something with a flat surface on wheels that I can put my um, pallet on. So I can move it around and especially if I'm going to be like painting on the walls or painting on the canvas. And earlier on I said that I like switching between certain stuff. So that will really help me if I have... My friend's ringing. That'll really help me to have a kind of moving trolley 
so I can kind of push it between certain things, like painting to painting to painting. So um, that's some food for thought. Also, I love that I've done that myself or been able to stretch these myself because I've saved a lot of money. Just imagine, like, made the frames a long time ago, paid 60 something quid for the canvas roll. This, like, canvas alone, like, pre made, I think I bought two for 60. Like, this stuff's quite expensive, and art materials can get quite expensive, so. I've saved myself so much money by buying that big old roll and I have offcuts that I can make smaller paintings from. Um, so I'm hyped about that. I think that's really, really good, really, really positive. So um, yeah, I need to pack up, I need to go. Like I've got stuff I need to do this evening. I need to upload more YouTube videos. I need to get cracking on some admin stuff. Um, so we'll see how we go with this video. If it's already 16 minutes, then I hope it's been slightly entertaining for you and I'm, I'll sign out here. Um, and on that note, I, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm working on loads of different stuff at the moment. That's why I can't think straight right now. I'm all hot in here. I need to get a fan. That's another thing I need. In it. Um, but yeah, I, I'll see you real soon in another video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a like, leave a comment. All you budding artists out there, please start tagging me and all your kind of content and piece, bits and pieces that you're, you're taking and uploading onto Instagram or wherever. Please share it with me so I can share it on here and also my Instagram and stuff like that. It'd be so cool to like add some of your paintings up in the corners of certain things, uh, up in the corners of the screen. Um, so make sure you're doing that. I really, really, really want to see see what you're working on as well. Um, on that note, I'll see you real soon in another video. Peace, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm so hot in here right now.